Hi, my name is Yuyang Lee, and I'm head information technology at the University of Orawa Library. In this lightning talk, I'm going to talk about our journey and strategy as a beginner to start web archiving initiatives at our institution. I would like to share a little bit of background information around web archiving history at my library. The first web archiving project was to archive NAHO, which was known as National Aboriginal Health Organization, its web content in 2017 before its website was completely gone on the internet. This project made us to subscribe to Archive It tool via Scholars Portal for the first time. And since then, we renew every year. Once we had a tool but limited resources, even for experimentation, we had to prioritize which content we should capture. So the uh, web archiving policy was developed to help us guide. So far we've archived these websites and we will share our lessons learned in the following slides. Because a new one librarian is available on a limited basis to work on a web archiving initiative, our approach was to focus on hyper-local events or very specific web pages that could be disregarded by an automatic and systematic harvesting approach. Uh, one example, so we chose the Black on Campus movement initiated by the U Orawa community when one Black student faced discrimination by campus security in June 2019. There have been live conversation in Twitter and you Orawa response. So we try to use archive it and twerk to capture them. Another strategy we apply is to collaborate with um, stakeholders who can review and conduct quality assurance so that we can make sure that we capture completely. We also work closely with a metadata librarian who provides a descriptive of metadata around web content to make it more accessible. Even with our simple uh, strategies, uh, there are always challenges. Our first challenge is that U Orawa is a bilingual institution, so we have a mandate to capture content in both languages, which double the work and the scoping, reviewing, and quality assurance. In addition, most tools are designed to optimize for an English language, so it's hard for us to distinguish one language from the other. For example, even if the language, language was written in French in Twitter, the default setting was English, so we may miss this French content using Twerk language setting. The other challenge that we face is to archive a live event such as Black on Campus movement and COVID-19, especially since those conversations happen a lot on social media like Twitter and Reddit. As we all know that the content in these platforms is very fragile and even though we do our best, there is always something missing or deleted content when we start archiving them. At U Orawa Library, uh, we are still learning as it goes, and we mostly use Archive It and Twerk as a beginner. So we hope to grow our web archive content in our collections. If you have any questions, please let me know by email. Thank you.